Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Afternoon, my octoroon. Hey, hey, hey. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Are we, are we good? Are we live? I mean, I know we're live, but are we good? Is this a good live? Are we looking good? Are we sounding good? You know, I like to do that. Even though, like, I already test this stuff in advance, I always like to double check before we get started, but... Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, everyone. This is a special live, very special live stream tonight. Um, hoping everyone is well. Everyone is doing great. Hope everybody had a good Saturday, you know. Saturday was yesterday. Uh, bonjour, monsieur Arake. Arake, I think that's... I forgot the pronunciation, but I think that's it. Um... Yes, indeed. I think we're doing good. I think we're good. Very nice. Welcome one and all. Big and small in here, out there, everywhere to Teletrend Unboxings Live. This is happening right now. Um, obviously, I started doing these live just because I like the live format get to chat with you guys in real time. You guys get to ask whatever questions you have. And I get to, you guys get a, a non-edited, real-time uh, uh, reaction from me. So, I like this format. But this is a special live. Because this is indeed the 60th episode of Teletrine Unboxings. 60th episode we've done 60 episodes guys of unboxing figures so really excited really really ready to get started and today i do have some new recruits i before i do that though i want to uh give a shout out to the sponsor of this broadcast i want to thank uh the toy room let me move this guy in that we can get a better sound <laughs> Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Toy Room and Lafayette for sponsoring this broadcast, for uh, providing me uh, a great deal of these figures, some of which I found at Target, others I found at the Toy Room. And they are incredible. I literally love that place. If you haven't seen my most recent toy hunt, I literally showcased their brand new location, and I literally watched the whole process of them moving everything and preparing for this big move and um, seeing how quickly they they did it, how organized it was, and how well it turned out. And the community is responding tremendously. Everybody in the community is loving the new toy room. There's people that didn't know about them in their previous location because how, you know, how bad it looked in terms of, or how hard it was to find, not how bad it looked, but how, how difficult it was to find or you know, just didn't know that it existed. Well, now this is this is really, really helping them. And they're doing a great job. So um, big shout out to the Toy Room. Thank you to them for, for sponsoring this. Um, if you guys are ever in the Louisiana area, if you're ever in the southern Louisiana area, I know most of you guys are like, you know, further up north or, you know, across the seas or whatever the case. But if you're ever in this area, give them a... A holler, you know, give them a visit. You know, they have nothing but franchises that we all grew up loving. And even for older people, they've got Marvel, DC, Transformers, Masters of the Universe, Dragon Ball, Power Rangers, I mean, <laughs> Ninja Turtles, Funko Pops, Snake Eyes, Voltron, Mario, Godzilla, Star Wars. The list goes on. And it's a great place. I Literally just got back from there uh, not too long ago. So their address is 2466 West Congress Street, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70506. All of that is in the description box below, including their number. They are uh, they are uh, open 11 a.m., 7 p.m., 
on uh, Tuesday through Saturday and on Sundays, like today, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central. You know, and they do have a Facebook and Instagram, so follow them there if you want to keep up with their little, uh, you know, whatever posts they have. Sometimes they share some of their new figures. Well, speaking of new figures, I am exuberant. I, I, I finally decided to, to, to return to Studio Series 4, the Bumblebee movie. And uh, for the most part, most of my Bumblebee movie figures I did get rid of because my journey, my focus, my initiative, my drive was all premium. Well, I decided to make an exception. I, I am going to make an exception for the Bumblebee movie figures because of how extraordinary they are. I literally, I just can't get enough of them. Thank you, Mirage, once again for the love, for the super chat. Did you buy me a figure? You know what? I do have figures. Um, uh, some of which were bought. <laughs> so they might end up at your doorstep. Who knows? We don't know. I mean, you might wake up one day and there's a figure at your doorstep. Possibly. But thank you for the love. Um, so the first thing that I got is this guy. Now, he's already out of the box because I've already been playing with him. And that is the Studio Series 76 Thrust. This guy is terrific. And I really love him. I love him a lot. I love what he's got going on. I love the detail. Big fan of this dude. And um, I love all of the Seekers, actually. I love Starscream, and I love Blitzwing. Starscream is my favorite of the three. And so I'm going to have to get them now. <laughs> got to get gotta get Starscream. I got to get Bl I gotta get all of this stuff back, um, which I don't have a problem with. And I do have to get Soundwave because Soundwave will be great. Uh, but I do. I just, you know what I love about these guys? And I said it at the time. Thank you again, Mirage. I probably bought you those big. Probably so from, from all the love you've been showing me. But thank you very much. Much love. Um, yeah. So I literally, literally said this at the toy room. I was like, the reason why I love the B-movie the design so much and these figures so much is because you have the, the aesthetic of G1, but it's not as simple as G1. G1 is very blocky, very flat-surfaced. Uh, very, very oversimplified because of the animation style of, the, of, the, of that time. They didn't really have uh, the resources or they didn't have the ability. They didn't really show that in the G1 series. Well, the live action basically added details, indentions and, and compartments and rivets where there would normally just be a flat surface. So it made it look 10 times better, in my opinion. Now, you guys may disagree. I know, but these guys are popular, so a lot of people agree with me. These, This is great. So Thrust has returned to the Alfonso Nation Studios, and he will not be alone. I have to get more Decepticons. I will get Soundwave. I will get Starscream. I will get Blitzwing. Um, hopefully Shockwave. They make a sizable, rational uh, release instead of the core class. And obviously, I'll probably get Ravage for Soundwave. Maybe so, maybe not. I do have the 3-0, so I'm not going crazy with it. Oh, thank you, Mirage. <laughs> thank you, Mirage, again. Mirage is throwing in some love. He's, he's, he's making it rain. And I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, he's showing love in here, Faded. And it's good to see everybody here. I'll just throw some shout-outs. Adam, uh, TF Knights, TF Edits, Seed, M Mirage again, <laughs> uh, Diego, w River Waters, Prime Master, uh, Optimus Prime Nation, and Joe Guerrero. Good to see everybody. Um, so here we go, folks. Here we go, folks. Yo, this is great. I am, I am extremely high for this. This is wonderful. I got Studio Series 80, 81, and 82. Now... <laughs> Let me tell you something. I saw I saw these two at Target, um, and I passed on them in that moment because I wanted to think. Because if I get back into this, it's going to be a rabbit hole, right? It's going to be a rabbit hole. I was like, you know, if I get into one, I'm going to have to have the rest because one can't just stand alone. They have to be in a team. So I was like, am I ready for that rabbit hole again? I mean, you know. Because I don't plan to get premium figures for these guys. I don't plan to get the oversized premium or the third party. Whatever. I don't plan for any of that. <laughs> I just want 
to get something that's nice enough. And they did an excellent job in terms of display presence. I don't know about QC. I don't know anything about, you know, their handling or how they feel. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so we're going to unbox them chronologically and, and in terms of their release number. And I'm excited. This is the 60th episode of Teletron Unboxings. It's sponsored, and we've got four in the lineup. I do have Optimus Prime there just for the sake of, uh, you know, uh, scale comparison. I do have to get some more Autobots because I, I don't have all the Autobots anymore. But I've decided to return to Bumblebee movies specifically. That's how much I love them. And once I get a good bit of them, I don't have to have every last one. I'm saying that now, and I'm probably going to get them all. <laughs> uh, which one do you like out of the three? Out of these three, once again, thank you for the for the super chat. Um, ooh, uh, I'm really digging Ratchet. I'm really digging Ratchet. But Wheeljack, this is probably, in my view, the best G1-styled Wheeljack that they've done. I don't know. Braun is awesome, too, and he's one of the more unique ones. Like, he's not a figure that you see often. He's not a design that you see often. Ratchet is terrific, though. And I know that we have the War for Cybertron Ratchet, but this one here, I don't know. It's very difficult. It looks like he doesn't have a lot of paint. It's a lot of white plastic. So um, it's debatable. I mean, that's how he looked, so that I understand. But it could have done a little, like, you know, some gray, you know, detailing there. Will I'm 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 torn between these two between Will Jack and Ratchet. I might go. I might go with Will Jack. I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards Will Jack, but it's it's really a toss up. They, they're all great. I did get another one. Let me let me just make sure uh, I acknowledge River Waters. Thank you so much. Love you, bro. I love you too. Love all of you guys. Thank y'all for being here. It's Sunday evening, so it's a good time to wind down grab a snack, and enjoy some Transformers goodness. Right now, guys, this is the only thing happening for Transformers. There's no shows really going on, no movies. There's only figures, so this is kind of the the moment, right? This is the moment to enjoy because the figures is the highlight. So let's get a close look at Braun. Um, I'm really digging his, his, uh, his like, CGI, you know? Like, that's, this is one of the few times we actually get the renders, official renders, for some of these characters since they were only briefly shown um and then he is 80 the 80th studio series 80 figures yo thank you mirage <laughs> mirage what is happening man you know what I, I love you anyway whether or not you super chat uh i will show the ratchet up close i'm gonna unbox them all i'm gonna show all of them up close i got you fam say less but uh yeah there you go um you've got brawn and his robot and all standard packaging now, this is, okay, so it's the same box art, but the actual window, obviously, is uh, smaller because you got more art, and there's no clamshell plastic. It's literally just tied to the cardboard. Not a fan of it at all. Really don't like that. I don't like that, but um, I get why, but I like the format of the of the other ones, but I get why. I mean, I understand it. And he says, Braun helps his Autobot allies hold the line against the Decepticons before being knocked by an enemy blast. That's a long sentence for like one second of screen time. I am beyond hyped. Let's unbox the first Autobot of the night, Braun. All right. I feel like I'm gonna like him. I I I, I really I, I, I really feel like <laughs> I really do feel like I'm gonna enjoy this one. Okay, here we go. Braun Studio Series 80. Um, thanks to Toy Room and Target. Target is the other is the place where I found the other ones. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, he's tiny. He's a tiny little guy. <laughs> okay, but you know what? I'm digging this. I'm digging like the the coloration of the plastic. I'm digging the detail. This is a perfect little brawn. You know, like it's not. It's not like I'm gonna have to get this these this camera together. It's a little like whitewash on the camera. From far, you can probably see it better than up close. <laughs> but uh, that's just my camera settings. I I adjust it to 
bring the color out and kind of, you know, give it a spunk. But sometimes I can't. That hurts with, like, up close. But um, this is Braun, and he's looking great. He's looking terrific. I, I, I really do like him. Let's get him out. Oh, he comes with something else here. I thought he only came with the blaster. He has something else. Oh, that's the piece for his alt mode. I don't think that's for his roulette mode. But that's kind of cool. I still like that. Let's go ahead and get him open. He is tiny. I watched a... Well, yeah. <laughs> no, he is still... He's still nice. He's tiny, but he's nice. And I'm 100%. I 100% get it. Um... All right. I mean, they're deluxes, so he's gonna be small. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just, it didn't really sink in. Wow, no, he is a chubby little dude. He's a chubby little shrimp. But that's kind of how he looked. Kind, I mean, he might have been a little, he might have looked a little like taller in the legs from the from the film. It's been a minute. This is a tiny little dude. This is this is a. But for a small figure, he does have a lot of great detailing, and he does have a lot to offer in terms of like his dis you know, his display presence with the rest of them. You know, he completes the team, which is what you would want to get him for. There you go, uh, Braun in the house, looking great. I'm gonna probably see something here. Let me check something here. All right, are we good? Okay. I know what I'll do here. I will make some adjustments just so that you can probably see it better. I'm sure it's it's better if I have the actual camera, right? You know, I have I had the if I were doing like an actual video, like a full blown. Here we go. All right, let's see if that made a difference here. A little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, let me do this here. All right. Just going to bring it down a little bit. That way we're not too whitewashed. That's a little bit better there. I like that. But that's Braun. He looks good. Big fan of him. And... Wow, compared to, like, Thrust... <laughs> Braun will get he'll get bodied. <laughs> he'll get bodied. All right, let's get the blaster out. Uh I'm gonna blow up a ratchet. I'm gonna blow up a ratchet. Is he bigger than Jazz? I don't think so. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> He's a Maybe, nah, I don't know about that. All right, so we got the blaster on. Here we go. Boom. So Braun is looking much better with his blaster. I like that. He's got his blaster. So the blaster is assigned to Braun. I'm going to put Thrust there and Braun. <laughs> All right. Well, Braun's out. He does have this other little accessory. This is the little uh, little piece for his alt mode. Um, this new packaging is just uh, not fun. Oh. <laughs> I don't like the new pack. I don't like this at all. Man, I miss that plastic. Uh, <laughs> it's a good figure. I do agree, Riley Hall. I do agree. It's a good figure for its price, you know, and for the fact that you're um, you're not going to be really getting Braun just to hang out by himself. He's going to be with a team. So with a team... It'll feel complete. It'll feel purposeful. 
And this is the little accessory that he comes with, the other one. And you just kind of peg it on to the front of his uh, alt mode. Very cool. If I had to give this guy a rating, I would probably give him... I mean, for accuracy, it's all there. It's just the scale. It's the, it, that's the only thing that I can see as being like a, a negative point. But I, I don't even see it as a negative point. I mean, he was tiny compared to the other characters. He was smaller than... So this is, this is like how it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, I'll give him a 9. A 9 out of 10. He's a nice figure. I do like him. I love the blaster. It's like basically half of him <laughs> in terms of length. Um, I'll give him a nine for the price, for being a deluxe, and for the accuracy, the paint, the detailing, um, and how well he will look among the rest. I think it's nice. They did my boy dirty, though. You know, he could have done way more than what he, you know. <laughs> he, he literally fell back. That was his role, was to fall back. Physically get blasted back. He could have had a little something more than that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, if you think Studio Series packaging is bad, wait till you get Legacy. Well, I'm not getting Legacy, but I, I see what you mean. I did see uh, the Legacy packaging in stores because they're showing up and while the art is great, you know, you don't display the art on the box on your shelf. You display the figure, and mm, it's a little mint. But all right, here we go. Will Jack. I got to get music up for Will Jack. This is a moment. This is a vibe. Hey, hey. This is Will Jack. This is this is Will Jack. Big screen inspired. He comes with the fire. He is not a liar. He comes with the. Ah! I'm not a good freestyler. If you give me a moment, if you give me some time, man, I could drop some heat. But on the spot, I don't know. It depends. It depends on that day. It, like I have to luck out. Um, Will Jack and the Autobots are overwhelmed by the Decepticon attack and must escape Cybertron if they hope to survive. They will survive. Keep the vibe alive. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so there you go. That, see, that looks much better. See, with the adjustments I made to the camera. Beautiful, man. I'm, I'm starting to feel like this is going to be my favorite one. Ah. Uh, here we go. This is the back of them looking perfect. I'm kind of hyped for him. I really, I, I'm, I'm really hyped. MC Alfonso spitting bar, <laughs> y'all. I just like to play around. I'm, I'm not a rapper. I'm really not. I just like, I'm a goof. That's what I am. I'm a goofball. So, you know, I do crazy stuff like that. All right, here we go. Freaking wheeljack, though. Like, first of all, I had the uh, what was it? It was it was another Will Jack. I think it was the Earthrise Will Jack. It was Earthrise Will Jack, and I have oh I have the Transformers Prime Will Jack. Oh my god, y'all got to see the difference. But I love Will Jack's just design and his colors. So here we go, Studio Series eighty one, Will Jack. All right, I was gonna do this. Tomorrow evening, I was like, nah, fam. <laughs> I can't wait. I got to get these out tonight. I got to see this. In a one, a two, a one, a two, one, two, three. Dun, dun. Oh, oh, that's looking clean. Okay. See. All right, all right, all right. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You see that right there? That's way better. <laughs> I mean, Bron's great. I love you. No hate. You are great. You're one of a kind. Smile more. You're great. Don't feel bad. You're beautiful. You're unique. 
But oh, that's my boy. Oh, he looks good. He looks good. I like this one. I'm liking it. I'm liking how it's hard to explain this one. Like height wise, you know, size wise, he's probably not that far off from Braun. It looks like he's uh, he's somewhere around there. But it's the it's the bulk. There's like bulk in his chest. There's a little bit of bulk in his legs. There's nice detailing on the arms, even if there's no bulk bulk on the arms. And I love the overall aesthetic. That head sculpt is sick. You know, he, you know, he never removed his face shield in the film. So having the face shield there is as good as you need it. Is that? Okay, so that's painted plastic for the panels on the side of his face. Um, I thought that was translucent plastic for a second. I was like, what? So are we throwing back to translucent? But there is for the, for the bottom portion of the chest. Obviously, this is for the alt mode, right? You know? Uh, this is probably like the windshield, but let's get him out. Ooh, let's go. See, I was like, you know what? I'm going for premium, man. I'm still going for premium. Don't, don't get me, don't get it twisted, child. <laughs> premium is, is my jam, but I'm like, you know, for these, these are just too good. They're, and they're coming out right now. This is like the hot topic right now. And I'm like, you know what? I do like them. You know, it's a rabbit hole because you got to get the rest. It won't make sense if you just got two or three. I'm like, do I want to spend money on that, or do I not want to? But right now, I'm probably not getting uh, any big-time premium stuff unless it's a prop replica, and I'm talking Marvel prop replica, you know? Like, I'm not getting any Hot Toys at this moment. Um, I will probably towards the end of the year, or maybe, like, you know... Well, I'm saying the end of the year, like, I know how much I'm going to be willing to spend um, in two months, but... Um, I'm just not planning to like make a massive purchase yet. Um, oh, this is good. But these guys, I mean, these guys combined is a massive purchase, but uh, it's not as, it's not the same price value. It's not the same amount as, uh, as these hot toys and the other stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm really digging it. We're gonna get my battering out the way. All right, Wheeljack has been unveiled. Yeah, so Wheeljack is looking fantastic. He's a little loose in the uh, in the little waist ball joints and out of box. Yeah, you see, he's a little. That's kind of what you're dealing with. But the shoulder is extremely stiff on my model, obviously. The elbow is great. Um, the knee bend, I assume, is better. Yeah. So it's just the waist, which I can deal with. It's not like unposable. It's not an issue where it's not posable. You know, you can still, you can tolerate it. All right. It's a, so it's just a first world problem. Uh, my wool jackets and then have the, the joints. <laughs> it's like, dude, there's people in Ukraine like struggling to live. Anyway, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, there you go. Will Jack is looking nice. I'm loving the red, I'm loving the green, I'm loving the white, and I'm loving how they all complement one another. Um, and I love that head sculpt. So, Will Jack, I'm digging him big time, digging him and putting him together with Braun, putting him with Ratchet, with Optimus, with B. Even with Cliff, I'm probably going to get Cliff back. You know, put like having them all together, this is all I need. This is all I need, Jack. So, Will, I said Jack, and I, Will Jack, you get it? All right. Uh, <laughs> so, here we go. Will Jack is, is nice. I would, man, I want to rate him a 10. I do, but, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's still posable. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it, does everybody does everybody have this issue? <laughs> or is it just mine? Anyway, it's not a big deal. I like them. I'd probably give them a 9 as well. A 9 or a 10. 9.5. I'll give them 9.5 for the, for the price value. There you go. 
Okay, Thrust, you're kind of flexing on us. I need you to just stand up straight, darling, because you're kind of wide. And I need some surface area for my other peeps. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> all right. But I'm giving it a chance. I'm giving them all a chance. You know, I want to unbox them and see how they how they all fare on the display shelf. Um, I'm giving them a chance again because they do look incredible. And they're probably one of the best out of the lineup of Studio Series that there is. So that's why I want to give them another opportunity um, for my display, for my collection. You know, I'm not going crazy with everything. But for the one, you know, for certain things that I want representations of, I feel like that's good enough. I'm going to just kind of move this a little bit. Oh, y'all yeah, can see them a little bit better. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. We got one last contender. One last contender. And his name is Ratchet. And he throws a hatchet. Stupid. That's what this is. I uh, love your videos. Thank you, Lego plus Minecraft. Uh, just joining. Did you get the thrust? And is he pretty big? Yes, I just got the thrust back. I believe I had him before. Because I had Starscream and Blitzman before. I believe I had thrust at one point. I'm not sure. I got him back. And he's looking fine and divine. He's looking mighty, mighty, mighty. <laughs> um... Uh, I think those hips were a common thing, the loose hips. Yeah, I believe so. Also, I did see a couple of people that had them prior to me, uh, just average fans, and they did say the same thing. So common thing, I have a solution for loose ball joints. I'm going to try it out, and it's probably going to resolve it completely, and I'm not going to have an issue. I feel like it should be like that out of box. You know, you're paying 20 bucks, but... It is what it is. You know? <laughs> uh, get Cliff back, please. You know, I'm 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 considering Cliff. Um, obviously, I'm gonna probably keep these for a while, and the only one I'm gonna get uh, next, you know, in terms of this, is probably the Soundwave, just because I feel like he's gonna be sold out fast. Soundwave is gonna be sold out. <laughs> They're gonna wipe Soundwave out because of how much of a high. Uh, high demand he is. You know, if people can get their hands on him, they will. So I'm going to hop on Soundwave whenever I see him, and then I'm going to just stop for a moment because the other ones I can always go back and get. They've always, they're already in aftermarket circulation. <laughs> Bulkhead, I needed that. <laughs> All right, so Ratchet, here we go. My boy Ratchet, man. I was hoping for more of a roll for him. And um, didn't really get it, but it's okay. I'm loving this box art. Matter of fact, um, these were the only two that I found. This one I actually found today for the first time. And I, it was a random, I just went to Target randomly and he was there. He wasn't there yesterday. So they're getting stuff in as we speak, as the days go on. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull all of these off the shelf because <laughs> they had one of each. And I'm going to make sure I have one. So um, there you go. Uh, Autobot Ratchet looking great. And he is 82, man. 82, my man. He's an old guy. By the way, Peter Cullen is 80 years old. So right now, Peter Cullen is Studio Series Brawn. Can you imagine that? For every Studio Series... Studio series for every studio series figure released up to Braun, that's one year of Peter Collins' life. Each figure is a year leading up to Braun. That is sick. And the next year, God's willing, please preserve this man for the next generation. Um, it'll be Will Jack and then it'll be Ratchet. That's super sick. I want them to go up to 100. I do. I really do. All right. Anyway, Ratchet, B movie. Probably going to be my favorite. He might be my favorite. I'm already seeing it. But here we go. That's the back of them. You guys know what they look like. It's the same thing. Different figure. As the Decepticons launch their final assault, Ratchet and the Autobots find themselves outnumbered and flee Cybertron in the escape pods. I like how all of them were involved in pretty much the same situation, but each character had a specific description that was native to their moment in the film i like that because you know they could have been lazy with it because they've done this before they could have said oh the autobots escape cybertron 
and they're gonna put that on all three of these boxes. But they actually put some thought into the into the description, so I'm here for that. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's uh, let's get that open. I keep like overusing my battering. Like I keep <laughs> I keep digging in with the battering, and the very tip of the battering is sharp enough. It's all I need. Um, this hobby is expensive, but so worth it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, for me personally, just don't, don't chill out. Just hear me out. For me personally, it's more worth it when you got premium boys, like what, you, what you're looking at behind me, big boy over here, big daddy right there. That's worth it. Cause it's like, it's a lot of money, but when you get it in, it dominates the room that has dominated Anything I brought into this room since I brought him into this room. I don't think anything else will top him until I get premium Megatron, the premium skin. That's a lot of money. And I'm gonna feel that one because I that's not my dream. This that was my dream figure. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I got hot toys cap too. Okay, Roger, here we go. Dun 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 dun. Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh, say, can you see what? Okay. All right. I think I found my favorite of the three as the person, you know, about 30 minutes ago asked. Here we go. This is sick. Whoa, this is sick. First, he's beefy. He's got the indentions. He's got the, see? You see what I'm saying? He's got the gray painting in the areas where, you know, it, it, it would have otherwise just been white plastic. You see what I'm saying? Like, who did I say needed to, I think it was him I said. Well, I think the render was, it looked worse than this. This is, this is good. And I got Optimus now. Ah! Oh, it's on. It's on. It is on. I want to get. Oh, man. This is nice. Oh, he feels good, too. I like that. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ratchet. Is my favorite of the three, and he's not even like fully released from his 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 cage. <laughs> uh, I got a good idea. You have now Bumblebee movie Ratchet. You should make a Spider Man thing to Studio Series Oh Seven Ratchet. Oh, I see. Paloma, I actually was planning on doing that, but with a different set of like with a different character. But I was going to do something like that with, like, variants. I already planned that for my Instagram, so you kind of. But I didn't think about doing it for Ratchet, so that's a good idea. But I planned on. Oh, all right now. All right now. Shut your mouth. Literally shut up. He has light piping in his eyes. None of them have that. None of them. Optimus probably doesn't even have that. Optimus doesn't even have that. I'm like, wait a minute now. Because <laughs> Wheeljack is just, you know, the blue paint for the eyes. Brawn is a bucket head, you know. You can't, you can't, there's no way. Ratchet coming through. What is happening? What, what is going, who told him to be this nice? Like, like who gave him permission, right? Like, like, like who gave you the right <laughs> to come here and slay? Ratchet has slayed. Now you really can't see Ratchet because he's all white. That'll whitewash the whole, but from far, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. But like, if I push it up there, this is about as good as it right here. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to do that. Look at that. Oh, that's so clean, man. Oh, oh, oh. 
and the back is nice. I didn't think the back, I didn't even think, I didn't even, I honestly, I didn't know what the back would have looked like. I didn't think about it. Um, the back, there you go. That's the back of them. Um, looking fine, looking divine. Nice and nice detailing. Um, really hollow calves, but I don't care. <laughs> Look at this figure. This figure's sick. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Okay, so what's up with this background? I just, is that the, okay, I was about, I was about to say, because <laughs> if this was the background they gave us, I was like, wait a minute now. Pause. <laughs> Ironhide is going to have lead piping too. So sick. I'm hyped to see that. Ironhide is going to be nice. You know what I want them to do, guys? And I know, like, it's not accurate. We didn't see it in the movie, but I don't care. You know what character would really look nice? With the live-action detailing of G1, the live-action detailing parrot with G1 would be a Warpath. If they need to do Warpath. Hey, what's up, Nick's Plastic Shelf? Welcome. There's always one with light piping. There's always one, right? They always have to show up and show out. Like, who who, who told you <laughs> your light can shine like this little light of mine? Warpath would be sick. He wasn't seen, but I don't care. Design what he would still sell. He would totally sell. Kingdom Warpath sells, and I'm not a big fan of Kingdom Warpath. I don't like, I'm not a, I, I just, you know, the, the, is it Kingdom? War for Cybertron Warpath, you know, the little core class. Ah, I'm not a, I like, I prefer Generations Warpath over him, but man, if they did a Bumblebee movie version, like a limited edition or like a special edition, oh, because Warpath is so, he's such a sick character with sick design right you know like all that live action detailing they can do a nice scarlet red for his paint bring that red out he didn't even need an accessory because his accessory is the, the chest cannon i mean they can give him one but he's warpath right you know he's he's come on <laughs> but warpath would be sick i would buy that regardless of whether or not it was in the movie and i feel like hasbro should know that if they don't know that already that we would buy a warpath um Apart from Warpath, I think they should do, uh, I think RC, they already have RC, you know, because she was actually seen in the movie. She was, actually had a, she actually had a voice contribution. You know, she said something. Um, we already got Soundwave. We got an abominational shockwave. <laughs> well, not an abomination. It was a, it was a, a useless shockwave if, for all of this, you know, like what am I going to do in a core class shockwave? What am I going to do with that? You know, and if, and if that's the direction you're going, like, if they're going to be doing more of those, that's fine. But, like, do that, like, later. Like, why is that now when you got this happening? You know, <laughs> we want a shockwave for, for these, for this. Anyway, I, I don't get them sometimes, but it is what it is, Jack. Um, man, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. What I'm probably going to do, because I've been wondering what am I going to do for my desk, you know? I constantly change out what I got displayed on my work desk. Um, right now I have, <laughs> I got crosshairs in car mode. You know, like a little, uh, it's a it's the Transformers 5 crosshairs in, in alt mode, you know? Just to kind of have like a little car accessory to add some color, to add a pop, a little accent. And I, before that I had um, this Spider-Man No Way Home with a uh, strange, you know, kind of like I had Spider-Man like in front of him like that, kind of like that. I change it out every once in a while to add some color to the desk. But man, I think I know what I'm going to have this week. I think the Optimus Prime with all the Autobots are going to are going to be right there. That's going to be sick. Thrust kind of can't stand with them because he's not like on the same team. <laughs> but the Autobots absolutely Oh, man. Check this guy out, y'all. The OG Optimus Prime. He is the OG OP. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is the one that I found in that toy hunt. And I think it's my second 
most viewed toy hunt of all time, right under the one that has a million views, which is insane. This is the same figure I found on that day. I never got rid of him. He is, I can't get rid of him. I don't even care if I go to premium for everything and I dismantle my optimist. This is, this is a piece of memorabilia now. This is not just a figure. It's not just a toy. This is a piece of memorabilia. <laughs> this is a souvenir. It's a prop. It's an Alfonso Nation uh, heirloom. I don't know. I don't have the right words. It's it's a very significant piece. It's not just a toy anymore. It kind of transcended that because it's one of my most admired and most iconic toy hunt moments. And it's Optimus freaking prime. <laughs> it's Optimus prime, baby. Come on now. And he still looks as good as he did on since day one. Never, never, never lost uh, display value. Holy crap, that looks good. All right, now. You know, I think DNA Design needs to make upgrade kits for these homies. You know what I'm saying? Well, for Optimus, you know. Give them, like, the axe. You know, the G1 Optimus normally has an axe. Like a live-action styled axe. Um, a Matrix, why not? Probably can't store it, but maybe you can just have them hold it. I don't know, something. Ooh. <laughs> Let me... Let me go ahead and just pose them, right? Let me just pose them. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, I do have uh, uh, the toy room uh, allowed me to utilize one of their uh, store inventory figures. And this is the Earthrise Thrust. He was, he had a little bit of a problem. He was like, oh, why the heck is he green? <laughs> like, he's supposed to be red. And I'm like, uh, my name is Jeff. <laughs> I didn't have an answer. Uh, I was like, well, they're just trying to make, you know, diversify and make it a little different. You know, they're just trying to do something different. You know, you don't have to do everything based on But he was like, yeah, but I mean, that that's cool if you change up the design. But why the color? Why make them great? <laughs> it's like, it's a good question. That's a fair, that's a fair. I was like, well, if he's red, I was trying everything I could to make. I was like, if he's red. You know, Starscream is kind of red in some areas. You know, he's red and blue, so he's more red. So they might confuse him with Starscream. Yeah, I know, but yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he wanted me to show the difference between the Earthrise thrust and the Bumblebee movie thrust. Um, obviously, Earthrise thrust is more uh, G1 centered, so it's going to be more like flat surface. You're going to have some detailing in the flat surfacing. Um, but it's going to be, you know, the actual build, the actual mold is uh, not going to have those indentions, you know, like, you know, it's going to be a complete flat uh, jet, uh, you know. So what I want to do, I just wanted to show that contrast because that's actually kind of cool to see the difference. At least, at least they both kind of have that cone head aesthetic, that cone head vibe. I'm here for it. I'm not, I'm not hating on the thrust. What I want to do, though, I want to do a voting poll right here live. And I, I'm really curious to see who's going to make this, of which one you prefer. Um, I'm going to say choose your thrust. You know, I have that, like, like if you're playing a game, choose your player. Choose your fighter. <laughs> um, Earthrise or BB Movie. I just like doing these. You know, you guys can do something while you're in the chat. Vote on who do you prefer? Which design scheme is your most preferred of the two? The Bumblebee movie or the Earthrise? I got my answer already. I had my answer since before this live. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm curious as to what you guys like, what you prefer. Because everybody has different interests. And that's what's good about uh, this community, you know what I'm saying? Now you just need the bingo toy show. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you done stepped in it now. I, it's a nice one. It is a nice one. I'm not going to lie to you. Can't lie to you. I, I'm just not allowed to lie to you. Like, that's a nice one. Uh, <laughs> let me just get this guy all posed up. I'm amazed he wasn't already posed up in my prime shrine. He's just kind of standing there. I don't know. What, what was I doing with him? 
I think I was like trying to uh, adjust like where they're all what they're all kind of doing. Just kind of get them all nice and posed up. Booyah, shakalaka, booyah. All right, let's let's check the results just for now. I, I, I know you guys might be an overwhelming result, and that's the same thing that I would say as well. But I, I wanted to let you all vote first because <laughs> I was curious, you know. But we do surprisingly still have a good, decent amount of people that prefer the Earthrise. Now, for those that actually prefer the Earthrise and you actually voted for Earthrise, what um put in the chat the re like what, what was the reason what do you like more about the earth rise um because we want to give a voice to those that are in a minority too you know you guys matter too so what do you like more about the earth rise why do you like it what's what makes it uh better for you i already kind of know what people like about the <laughs> the Bumblebee version um i'm gonna just kind of pose them all up get them all ready for battle the green color is based off of Armada Thrust. Okay. I mean, he, he probably didn't know that. <laughs> he probably didn't know anything about Armada Thrust. So he was, I guess, just, you know, comparing him with the G1. But that that's fair, too. Donate some studio series to me, please. Well, you know, the problem with that is that these are luxuries. These are not necessities. You know, you don't need toys to live. As much as we feel like we do. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of one of those things you got to save up and and manage to score, you know. Everybody kind of just has to work their way to it. But I wish you the best. Look at this freaking. Look at this freaking. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> Now, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, by themselves, the deluxes, by themselves, apart from Ratchet. Ratchet can be, he's nice by himself. But Wheeljack and Brawn, by themselves, are, are, are decent. But they shine the brightest as a team. As a team, as a unit. I'm trying to not scream because that mic is sensitive. <laughs> um, so overwhelming support for the B-movie, uh, thrust. And I agree. That was my answer as well. I do like the live action merger. Um, I just do, you know, I, I like G1, but I feel like G1, you know, G1 is uh, overused, oh, yeah, strongly overused. I mean, these designs existed since 1984. We're almost in 2024. It's time for a little bit of innovation. You know what I'm saying? And they're great. They're great because there's a ton of figures out for them. They, they can be enjoyed. You know what I'm saying? But it's time for a little bit of change. So that's why I kind of like the live action. It's not a massive change, but it's a change. Um, and that's why I like the Vapors too. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that from a from a from a, a flat faced semi truck to that. See that I like, but I like I like different versions and even the TFP Optimus. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. I love when they change things up. It just adds diversity to the franchise. Not everything is based off of one. You know what I mean? Even if, yeah, I think I make my point. <laughs> that this is the money shot, Nick. This is the money shot. So I'm digging this, and this is the reason why I wanted to get back into it. Um, for the other guys, for the Baver stuff, probably not going to do studio series. I like the 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 masterpieces and the KO masterpieces. Um, I do like them. I prefer their display presence and their look. And because I prefer the Bavers overall in terms of just like enjoyment, not really for story, but for enjoyment, um, and their designs too because I like how realistic and lifelike they feel and look um i uh i would rather get something that's a little bit more expensive for those figures um i got multiverse of madness they're they're going at it right now uh i'm digging that display too um probably i'm debating on if i'm gonna build rentra we'll see <laughs> 
but this is terrific. Had to do a Transformers moment tonight. Very important. Uh, I'll go, I'll stay here for five minutes, five more minutes of free discussion, and then we'll hit that 60 minute sweet spot, one hour mark. So we're kind of in the open discussion uh, portion right now. So I'm just going to kind of chat with you guys for five more minutes. Uh, I wish I could stay longer, but it is a Sunday night and I have to prepare meal prep. I got to clean up the home. I got to feed the bird. I got to take care of the Evans. <laughs> and I have to clean up the mess and display the figures and get ready for the week ahead. Oh, this is, ooh, oh, you can't, I, I did all that work. <laughs> it's behind the microphone. All right, let's do this. Let's, come on. Uh, I don't have off-road B. I was going to keep them, but when I said, you know what, I'm going to get aggressive with this premium, I got rid of him. But I'm going to get him back because he was my favorite. He was my favorite. Well, him and the, side, the B127, were, those two were like my favorites. Um, so one of them I'm getting back. Probably the B127 because these are all Cybertronian mode figures besides Optimus, I guess. Well, you know, the Cybertron scene looks best. And then I'm going to have the Clip Jumper, which is the same overall uh, mold and sculpting. So they'll match. I might get the B127. Thinking about that. I am going to get the others, Gilmore. Um, not sure how many of much of the others. I want to get the Decepticon Seekers again. They need to do a, a, a Skywarp and a Thundercracker. I was saying this at the toy room. I'm like, if they get the Skywarp and the Thundercracker, that would be perfect because that way you can get the original three seekers and you can add other ones as well if you so decide. But just having that option would be terrific. And it's the same mold. You just got to repaint them. And that's literally that's literally what they've been doing <laughs> for the most part. Okay. All right. Well, Will Jack is falling apart. Okay. All right. All right. Will Jack is drunk. Will Jack is <laughs> All right. All right, well, Jack, that's his waist. That's the that's the ball joints on the waist. That's that. I'm gonna fix that. Anyway, <laughs> um, President Alfonso Trump, do you still have intentions of getting the Kingdom Galvatron? Gojira, that's the one figure in that lineup that I have been wanting for some reason. He looks terrific. There is a re-release with a cleaner, you know, non-battle damage version. I might wait for that if I do pull on that. But that is a fifty-dollar pull. Good question. I'm not sure, but I do want him. But I feel like if I get him, I'm gonna now I'm gonna want the others. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole. Are you gonna pick up uh, the SSB movie Soundwave and Ravage? I've come real close to grabbing the pair. The three zero is already so good though. Let me pull him out. Let me just sweat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's a good question, Nick. Um, <laughs> I have to do it. Come on now. That's a good question. And that was my biggest dilemma. It's like I, I, I don't need a duplicate sound wave, even though he's my favorite Decepticon uh, for the G1 inspired stuff. I don't need a duplicate. You know what I mean? Like, but I mean, because I'm getting these guys again, I'm probably going to go for the sound wave for the sake of having that scale appropriate display config and because he looks great you know what i mean um the ravage questionable don't really need the ravage but i mean because that's another ten dollars now, now if he was if he was five dollars eh, that's nothing but another ten bucks <laughs> that's half the price for another deluxe it's like oh my god oh my god hasbro seriously anyway Boom, shaka laka waka flaka in the middle of the whatever. <laughs> this stuff, this, <sighs> this is what I love. See this right here? Dude, dude. You know, I don't need, I don't need another sound wave because of this. Because of this. Holy crap. Holy freaking nutsack. <laughs> What is this? This is, this is, uh, <laughs> this is artistic. This is art. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to get the sound wave for the sake of scale. Um, 
probably not ra a ravage because it's not that serious. I have a sound wave and a ravage, and like I need a ravage. Three zero is supreme, Nick. Look at this. He's you know what he's staying here. I thought about putting him in the in a in the back, but I'm trying to do a multiverse thing with Marvel DC Transformer, and I, you know, so I can't have too much Transform. I, I just I'm trying to do a multiverse in the back. <laughs> Um, so I can't, you know, I can't, unless I get more, more stuff to put, but that's, it's already a lot happening back there. Um, but I like, I love it. This is perfect. It's the only sound wave you ever need. And, um, that's a good question. Do you still own the Black Mama Tank Mega? Oh no, that thing has been gone. The reason why I got rid of him though, is not really, it's not, it's because of the, it's the, the QC was just abysmal. On mine, it was horrible. The dude couldn't stand. He would not stand. And you know, he went. He did go to a family of of a of a young man who had a, had a mental disability. He had some um, some complications, and he had a hard. He was having a hard time. And um, his dad was trying to scramble to get him a gift. So what I tried to do is I tried to repair, you know, or tried to not really repair. It wasn't broken, but I tried to like fix up and tune up. Megatron's joints so he can stand up nice and then I sold it to the guy for um a, disc a heavily discounted price just because he wanted something for his birth his uh, kid's birthday and he couldn't find anything and literally I'm I, it was the most satisfying thing y'all he messaged me a few days I think it was two three days after that he was like in all caps thank you so much it arrived on his birthday you shipped it at the the perfect time he was super happy. So it went to a, a place that appreciated him more. I was a little finicky with it because I was like, I'm not a big fan of the joints. I did my best to fix it up, and it was a little bit better. And then I sold it for a cheaper price. And um, the Megatron I want to keep <laughs> is that Dragoon, that Night Megatron. See, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Oh, that Dragoon. I want to get the battle damage too, because that stuff is legit. But I already have the smooth looking one. I'm gonna. De it's it's debatable. I don't know, <laughs> but I'll see. Uh, I just wanted to share that story because, like, I don't talk. I, I don't say it because I don't do it for like attention. But you asked what happened to it or if I had it. So there you go. Do you have a Discord? I do have a Discord. You can follow me on Discord. I barely use the thing. I use it for like. Uh, Mainly Transformers projects, like if I'm part of a, like another YouTuber's project, like Cybertron Falls, I'm going to be in that, the, the second part that's coming. Um, I'm, whatever, I if if I ever join MP Cons, I was in a few of TFI Creations uh, projects. So I use that to communicate with them whenever it's time for that. But I'm not on there, barely. I mean, I do kind of browse it, but I do have one. You want to add me? I may not see it for the next month. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors saying Tobey Maguire, Multiverse of Madness, there's going to be some Spider-Man. I don't know. Personally, I don't think I want to see that. I'm going to be honest. Because we got our Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland fix in No Way Home. They got their own film, like a collaborative film. This is Doctor Strange's moment and whatever other characters they want to bring in that we haven't seen yet. That's what I feel like the screen time should go to. That's just my personal, you know. But I love Tobey Maguire, and I want to see him again, 100%. I want to see Amazing Spider-Man 3, 100%. I want to see more Tom Holland Spidey, 100%. I don't have the Zayas toy shop. I do have the Zayas toy shop. <laughs> it's like, wait, I don't have that. I do have that, and he's, he's in the collection closet. Alfonso being wholesome. Oh, thank you, Nick. I'm just doing what I can. Great channel. Thank you. Love the toy hunts. Thank you. Type 5 Metron Design. Okay. Night Megatron, Revenge of the Fallen, 07. Uh, dark of the moon, whatever. <laughs> I go dark of the moon, whatever. Um, the toy room, uh, the address for the toy room is in a description box below, as well as as well as their number. All of that is should be in a description. I, I think I did put that in the description. Um, this is a uh, sponsor broadcast by them, so I'm I'm, I'm really happy that um, I'm happy to be working with them, and I'm happy. I, there's some stuff that we have been. Um, uh, 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 prospecting, hinting at, or like not not really planning, but talk discussing that we might do. 
that's going to be pretty cool. So might have to see some more official stuff, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know if he wants to do it or not. So I'm not, I'm not going to like get anybody's hopes up. Uh, I am on Snapchat. Um, my snap thing is my snap username is on my Instagram. It's weird. It's French. <laughs> I think you can finally change your snap, your Snapchat username. So I'm probably going to go uh, go and do and change it to Alfonso Nation or something so that I can not have that weird name that I didn't like middle school. All right. I'm five minutes over the one hour mark. I gave you all a little bit of a grace period because I've been rambling. I didn't enjoy Spider-Man Away Home. It wasn't worth the hip. Worth the hip. Well, you, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I, I will say it's a lot of people's cup of tea. <laughs> it's very popular. People wanted to see them all come together. They wanted to see... Uh, the multiverse break open. That was another reason why people watched it. But it was really a Spider-Man movie. And I loved it. I personally loved it. I loved how uh, we kind of got the immature Peter Parker. And we saw him go through some very ma- some very mature situations. And he had to mature as a, as a character, as an individual. And that helped him mature as a superhero. So that was an evolution of his, of his, uh, of his mentality in the film. And being willing to sacrifice himself and people knowing who he is for the sake of saving the world. That was his really his first really big adult superhero (laughs) universal decision. You know, he he, that that was big for him. So I liked how they portrayed it. And obviously all the jokes, all the memes, all the funny stuff. That was great. So but uh, honestly, it's, you know, to each his own. If you didn't like it, hopefully you love Multiverse of Madness because that is coming also moon Knight, 10 days away super hype have you ever thought to get laser optimus prime legacy <laughs> i think i know what you're talking about if you're talking about that thing that they that legacy optimus that whatever that no that's a that's a hard pass <laughs> not for me one more question what's the next <laughs> sorcerer supreme yeah um, yeah, I did do like a little edit. I, it was really a test edit where I like edited myself doing the Doctor Strange things. If you want to see that on my Instagram, it's on TikTok. I do have a TikTok, Alfonso Nation. I've been posting. I'm going to be doing more of the, uh, that. It's going to be more Marvel stuff. Every once in a while, I'll throw in Transformers whenever there's news. But that's really my, 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 I'm, I'm going to use that to market for Marvel to bring Marvel people into the Alfonso Nation. Um, cause we're right now we're, 98% Transformers people, which is great. Um, my tech channel, Nathaniel, I haven't been working on it because it's a lot to handle one channel, but I'm enjoying Alfonso Nation. I've kind of further along on this one, so I'm going to only do tech stuff literally as a hobby, and this is going to be my focus on Alfonso Nation. I've been hopping around. I've been saying I'm going to transition and whatever because I really I haven't been sure. Uh, I, I, I still haven't found what 100% works for me with my time and my energy and with my, my, you know, um, my resources, you know, I'm, I'm solo. I'm a one man show. So I, um, I'm just doing what I can, (laughs) but this is more entertaining to do. So I'm leaning a little toward Alfonso nation again, but we'll see. Um, uh, probably not getting the premium finish BB prime. He does the trick. (laughs) Um, Yep, Earth Spark on Nickelodeon is coming. And for those of you who are excited for that, I am glad that you have something really, really uh, uh, exciting to look forward to. Me personally, I'm not excited, but I hope you enjoy it and I hope it does come out good. I hope it proves me wrong because it's always, you know, I want it to do well. I want it to be a good series. I hope it proves me wrong. I really do. Um, all right. All right. <laughs> Got to cut it here. We are going on 10 minutes over almost, well, nine minutes and a few seconds. Thank you guys so much for joining this evening. Happy Sunday. Have a great evening. Have a great week ahead. I know Monday is usually the worst days, but at least you get to wake up and you have an opportunity to do whatever you want to do. Um, Hold on to your dreams. Seriously, a few days ago, I was a little emotional just thinking about my Peter Cullen conversation, and I watched that thing back again, and that thing hit me hard. Like, I still can't believe that I talked to that man, and my... my, uh, my uh, my one year anniversary since that happened is coming up next month. It's almost gonna be a full month until the one year, so it's it's insane. But thank y'all so much. I am gonna do more interviews. Um, I'm I've been wanting to do some. I've been trying to work on some uh, 
some of the people that were in Transformers. One of the military guys who actually, we all know him. He was uh, one of the soldiers. I've been working on that. I've been doing stuff behind the scenes. So thank you. Much love to you all. Big shout out to the Toy Room. Go get these guys if you can. As a team, they are the best. 10 out of 10 collectively. Thanks for watching. Hold on to your dreams. The future is built on dreams. Thank you to Super Chatters. Never give up and never give in. <laughs> Alfonso Nation, I can do this all day. Transform and roll out till all. Come on now, you gotta, come on.